Hello everyone! Today I'd like to show you how I made the frame for my new solar steam engine. So we will start by making this part. Okay, so these parts are now ready and I also drilled some holes for the bearings and uh, I now need to make uh, the spacers which I will make from this uh, 20 by 20 millimeter steel pipe and I will cut them with this uh, jigsaw and have a special blade for cutting metal in it and I um, will reduce the cutting speed by using my high power dimmer so uh, the saw will hold out a little bit longer and I'm uh, using this jigsaw because then I can make the cuts a little bit nicer perpendicular. It goes a little more gentle than when you use an angle grinder. And also an angle grinder creates a lot of dust and noise and so this is uh, a little more gentle. And of course you can also cut it by hand but it's a little bit more labor intensive so I like to do it this way. So let's cut off some pieces. Okay, most parts are now uh, cut, so let's weld some together and uh, after I've uh, welded most of it together I will figure out the other parts that need to be cut. So let's start welding. Okay, so the core of the steam engine is now uh, tack welded together. This is where the crankshaft is going into. So now let's uh, make the arms to which the cylinders will be attached. Okay, to weld these cylinder arms together, I made this uh, mold. And I can just uh, fit these parts in here. And then make sure that it's all nicely perpendicular in this part here. Then I can tack weld it all together. And there's also going to be a crossbar on here. So. Let's all tick weld it together and we'll do the rest.
Okay, so a lot has happened since we last spoke. And um, well, I tech welded all these parts together and uh, also the crossbar. And um, these are the plates for the cylinders to be mounted to, like so. And this will be then welded on here. But first I will finish all these welds and also from the center part of the frame. So after that is done, I can weld the rest together. Okay, so I've now finished all these welds and to weld this to the side here I need to have something to maintain the right distance between these two parts and so I uh, have this piece of plywood from which I cut off one layer to get the right thickness. So I will now uh, grind off these welds so it's nice and flat and I will weld these on and then we'll see what's next. Okay, so now this is all uh, tech welded together and uh, it was quite a challenge to get everything uh, precisely, approximately, more or less exactly perpendicular. But well, I think it's uh, good enough. And uh, I will now cut some crossbars to weld in here and um, after that is done then I will uh, fit these plates and we can uh, mount the cylinders. So we will see what it's going to look like. Okay, so the frame is now completely finished and I just attached the cylinders uh, for show so you can see how big this thing is going to be. These are duct taped on very sturdy as you can see. And in the next video I will make the crankshaft and the crossheads. 
maybe even the crosshead support. That depends on how far I get in that time. And of course, instead of welding the frame, you can also make it out of uh, steel strip and drill holes in it and bolt it together, or you can make it out of wood. You don't necessarily need to make a welded construction because if you haven't got a welder, that's of course a, a limiting factor. So there are lots of ways to make this. And this frame may seem very massive, and well it is of course, but that's mainly because these cylinders are going to push with 50 kilograms and pulling with 50 kilograms. And of course simultaneously, so there will be 100 kilos of force pushing on the crankshaft. And this of course puts a lot of strain on the frame. So I put these crossbars in here so this won't bend backwards and forwards because these welds would otherwise be stressed very much. And these crossbars make sure that the positions of the cylinders in respect to one another is maintained. And there's a, a little bit of torque because the cylinder is pushing on the crankshaft at a slight angle. So there's some force in this direction, but that's of course a very small portion of that 50 kilograms. But these cylinder fixtures will be welded on here, so that mostly takes care of that torque. So these two parts don't bend away from each other. Or whatever you would call that. You can see that it's all built up out of triangles. That's always something you want in a construction, which makes the construction uh, very strong. So that's a little bit of uh, explanation about the construction. And just as with the other parts of the steam engine, I will post a drawing of this frame on Facebook and Instagram within a few weeks. I will put a link in the description and in the comments. Okay, that's it everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Uh, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Click the notification bell. So much to do these days. Well, see you next time.